Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Desert Oasis Room. It's another Aloha Friday in the Desert Oasis Room, and we have another guest helping us with a cocktail today. This is our friend Chris Summers. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Chris is someone that was in the islands for a little bit, so I guess you were a non-island resident, became an island resident, and then now you're back here in California. Exactly. So welcome back. Thank you very much. So I've heard a lot about your drinks, and so I'm excited to try one. So what are we going to make today? So we're going to make uh, a little drink called Short Squats Blackberry Grog. It's a drink that is one of my own personal recipes. Okay. And it is named uh, in honor of my grandfather, uh, who was in the Second World War. He was a Navy man and a uh, really short man, huge personality. Short squats then. So kind short squat okay. was uh, basically, I'm an Air Force guy, so we have call signs. It was his nickname. Gotcha. So that's what a call sign is. So his was short oh, squat I and I named it after him because uh, he probably would have had uh, similar things to this and some of the early tiki bars. He loved to go have a, a couple of cocktails. Oh, very cool, very cool. All right, so we're gonna get started on this drink and if you guys wanna follow along at home, we're gonna put the recipe down in the description so you can just print that up ahead of time and here we go. All right, well, uh, any good tiki drink, you gotta have cinnamon syrup. Uh, yeah. I make my own, uh, so I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of that. All right. Excuse me, half. Half, half an ounce. ounce, okay. Three quarters would be a little too much sweetness. So uh, don't add three quarters, add a half. Okay. And then we need uh, lime juice. So I'm gonna juice uh, three quarters of an ounce of lime three juice. Three quarters of lime. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm curious. Do you have a call sign? I do. Is, is that for public consumption? You're uh, laughing already. Yes. So, uh, is my it Maverick? Sign. Is it Goose? Hey, it is not. <laughs> Wait, actually... those guys are Navy guys. So, like, that's, yeah. that's okay. Similar concept. Uh, those uh, are actually $5 fines uh, in the, the heritage lounges of the uh, Flying Squadrons. So, uh, no. Uh, uh, no Maverick, no Goose. Okay. But uh, my call sign is uh, FX. FX. And like, not like special effects, but uh, more like uh, Fing Extreme. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, Are you the crazy one? Is that why? I was a little bit crazy in my younger days and uh, kind of lingered as. Uh, as it stuck around. I got a reputation for, uh, I wasn't very good at biting my tongue when okay, I was okay. a younger man. So I'm curious, is a call sign something that you give to yourself or is that a sign to you? Uh, they are earned. So earned. Okay. generally speaking, you either do something really stupid and that's, it pertains to whatever you did. It has to do with your call sign. So someone or, gives it to you. Someone yes. just starts calling you that and then... Uh, yeah, so you actually have a night uh, called a call sign night where anybody who doesn't have one already uh, is, uh, they call them FNGs. Okay. And you're number one, number two, number three, number four, so on down the line. And, uh, and then when they get to you, people tell stories about things that you've done. If there's something totally egregious that you did, oh. that usually leads to your name. Okay. And uh, when you don't bite your tongue okay. and say some stupid things to okay. higher ranking people than you when you're just a baby there lieutenant, you go. All right. that's how it happens. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so uh, next on the list. Uh, John D. Taylor's Velvet Flarenum. If you have your own, you can use your own. I. Uh, have made it on a couple of occasions, but I actually just prefer the okay. Jandy Taylor. Right. So half an ounce of that. Half an ounce. Okay. And then we're gonna do quarter ounce of St. Elizabeth's All Allspice right. Dram. Uh, I've not tried this drink with some of the other ones that are out there. I know Hamilton makes a- I like St. Elizabeth's. Yeah. And, like and it doesn't take much. I mean, a quarter ounce, I can see that's all it needs. Yeah. Nice and uh, nice baking spice flavors. Yeah, yeah, add. yeah. Have you baked with it? Actually, we, yes we did. Yes we did. Okay. Uh, we made gingerbread men oh, and nice. allspice jam icing to oh, go with that it. Sounds great. It was excellent. Yeah, there's, there's also a cookbook for Angostura. So that's another thing that I've never done is taken Angostura, the Angostura bitters and, and actually baked with it. 
I've made it, I've used it as a base as a cocktail, but I've never tried right, that right. before. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Nice. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have Creme de Mure. This is a blackberry liqueur. Okay. Uh, this particular brand is Massinez. There are a couple other brands out there okay. that work just as well, and it's a pretty similar flavor. They just might vary slightly by alcohol content. And how much did we put on that? A uh, quarter ounce. Okay, of so that. And the quarter ounce of allspice, quarter ounce of black liqueur. Correct. Okay. All right, and now we're going to do a rum blend. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start with the Jamaican rum. This is rum bar gold. It's got a nice, rich flavor. Appleton Estate, uh, the 8 and the 12, uh, work really well uh, in, if you don't have uh, okay. rum bar gold. So we're going to do a full ounce of this. Full ounce, okay. And then we have the real McCoy, McCoy. five-year-old. A okay. uh, little bit bolder than the three-year-old that they make, but uh, it's got super rich flavor. 43% uh, nope, 40% uh, ABV. Uh, I love the Barbados rums because they really give it a lot of body, uh, the richness, and of course, uh, being made by Foursquare Distillery, yeah. they make excellent rum. Yeah, yeah. Anything by Foursquare is great. Yeah. And there it is, and then the OFTD. Gotta have OFTD. OFTD. Any tiki drink. Need some overproof rum. Right. Uh, the reason why I paired these other two rums with the OFTD is because it has a blending of rums from these islands in the Caribbean anyway. Uh, so it really holds up well. And then this is what kicks it over the top. So You know why it's called OFTD, right? Because it's... It's old-fashioned traditional dark. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder which acronym they came up with first. <laughs> first, yeah. Right. <laughs> I've not heard... Uh, the official word. Come on, on you guys that. know this one, right? You, you probably can figure that one out. Yeah. Oh, F, that's the delicious. Yeah. All right. So we did an ounce of all three rums. And now we're just going to do uh, some crushed ice. Okay. About a cup worth. So three ounces of rum in this guy. And one of them is overproof. Right. Wow. Okay. So here we go. Nice. It's Aloha Friday in the Desert drink. Oasis room. We're not messing around today. So this is, is this a drink for one or for two? This is for one. This is for one, okay. All right, and we're gonna flash blend. Gets a little bit of aeration in there, and then. So let me move this so people can see what's happening there. We've got a Mai Tai right. glass. You can see how much aeration wow. it's got in it. Wow. So we need to. Have it uh, settle down just a little bit as we top it off. So that's why you flash blend it for so long. Yeah, uh, flash blending is such a great technique. Uh, of course, Don the Beachcomber, uh, yeah, uh, original yeah, technique. Yeah. But it's such a great technique because you get the right amount of dilution. It right, gets cold right, really right, fast. Right, yeah. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer that, uh, that method for this. Garnish with some mint. Garnish with a little mint. Wake right. it up. It. I love it. How long did it take for you to develop this drink? Uh, this was a tougher one. I couldn't quite get the, the ratio of the sweetness right. So uh, I think it took me probably about uh, a month or so of Very experimenting. Very nice. Very nice. So, okay, so I want to try this. Do I drink it with a straw or do I drink it from the glass? You can drink it straight out of okay. the glass. All right, so here we go. Say the name of the drink again. Uh, Short Squats Blackberry Grog. Short Squats Blackberry Grog. We're gonna have the recipe down in the description if you guys wanna make this at home, but I'm gonna make this, I'm, I'm gonna try this one for myself. So here we go. Wow, that's good. <laughs> I can smell the mint, oh, and I can taste the blackberry, wow. It's just a little bit of blackberry, but it really sings with this oh, blend. Man, that's good. That's good, perfectly balanced too. Like, you could have a couple of those and be under perfect. the table without even knowing it. It's perfect. Wow. I love it. I'm glad you do. I love it. Thanks for making it. If you guys enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a like. And if you want to see more from us, we'd appreciate a subscribe. And thanks for coming to the Desert Oasis Room and making us this cocktail. Thanks for happening. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Cheers and aloha.